It was a chance meeting. Well, he became an important friend. You could talk to him almost about anything. 1954, John Dell was in New York trying to break into the music scene with the Gansman Quartet when he bumped into Donald Shirley. That brief encounter sparked a lifelong friendship. I took him on his first picnic. He'd never been on a picnic before, so we took him out and showed him the Canadian way to spend a Sunday afternoon. In time, Shirley grew close with Dell's entire family. He would play over the phone while he was talking to us. He would say, I, I have a new composition. He'd let us hear over the phone. In 2001, the family was invited to a rare concert in Detroit. Home video in the dressing room gives a real look at the friendship the two men shared. When he died in 2013, and had moved out of the Carnegie Hall, uh, Dad was probably one of his only remaining living friends. Don Shirley was a renowned pianist and composer. In his 20s, he was warned that American audiences were not willing to accept a black pianist on the concert stage, and so he took to playing at nightclubs and invented what amounted to his own musical genre. So he would make his first piece so quiet that nobody in the bar could hear it. And then once they settled down and everything was quiet, then he'd put on his performance and then he would just wow them with his classical genius. And now his story is the subject of the highly acclaimed movie Green Book. I am not a medical doctor, I'm a musician. The movie recounts a 1962 road trip when a Bronx-bred Italian-American was hired to drive Shirley to all of his concert engagements across the Deep South. How does he smile and shake their hands like that? Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. Oh, I'm just so excited about it. I'm really happy that they made a movie, and I don't even care if it's good or bad. People should know Don Shirley. They know his music, but they don't know the side of him so much as, as the struggles he had, and he never lost hope in humanity. Shirley sent dozens of letters when he was on tour, many of them during the time featured in the film. When I listen to my records, I hear a thousand things that I could have done better. Each letter, each article, carefully kept. Your friend, even if I hate to admit it, Donald a permanent reminder of the fun-loving friendship they shared with music at the heart of it. Sasha Long, CTV News.